All right, February 17th, uh, Portnoy is, I'm not sure where. I haven't seen Portnoy in forever. Until the rundown yesterday, I didn't know he was in Florida this weekend. I haven't like seen or talked to my boss who I work in an office with in a long ass time, so I'm not even sure where he is. Uh, but so you got me because he's somewhere else. First topic is Kobe saying he has zero friends, which isn't a surprise at all, but still hilarious to hear. Dan, go ahead. Uh, yeah, hilarious to hear just because anyone who admits that they have no friends is, and that's kind of sad. Kobe obviously did it in a real hard way where he was like, God put me on earth to play basketball and that's all I care about. The biggest story though, Kobe, when he said, when he was talking about it, he's like, yeah, I have friends. I just don't have great friends. You know, like friends that call each other every day. I don't think Kobe even knows what friendship is. I would never call any of my friends ever for any reason, like ever, unless it's unless I'm dying and they're the last person to save me. I would never pick up a phone and actually call one of my friends. Kev, yeah, if I call you, I hate you. Basically, if you ever get a phone call from me, we're not friends. I get what Kobe's saying. I like it because there's so much friendship in the NBA now. Everybody's buddy buddy. People, you know, deciding their free agencies together. And Kobe's the like one of the last of the OGs who 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 doesn't treat it that way. That being said, the fact that yeah, you admit to it that you point out that like you don't have a single friend, it's pretty depressing. It's one of those things. It's like no matter how much money you have, no matter how many championships you have, you're a fucking weirdo. But I like Kobe. I, I know that's like an unpopular opinion. I like him. I think it's awesome that he's like fuck friends. All I do is win. It's no, it's not unpopular here. I love Kobe, which is probably really rare for a Celtics fan to say, but. I, I, I think Kobe's awesome, and and I and I totally agree with him. I don't I don't think I don't know. It's far, it's hard, but but I always think back to the Chris Rock where he's like talks about the Columbine kids, and he's like they had. He's like I saw a picture of him with six friends. That's three on three with a half court. I couldn't get <laughs> six friends together right now. I, I don't know. I don't really know what a friend. If that's what no. the, the the level I, the bar for a friendship is, is like someone you call and talk to. I, I mean, I don't have any friends then, and I don't have the money he has, so he's kind of winning on this one. Yeah, I mean, I think about how little I get together with my friends now, and all I am is a fucking, like, loser blogger. I'm always like, yeah, maybe I'll see you next week, next month, whatever. If I was a championship NBA player, I probably wouldn't have time to get together with the homies either. <laughs> like, if you have a lot of friends, you that means you have to, like, do a lot of stuff, and you gotta talk to a lot of people. Friends are Fuck fucking asking. really overrated. <laughs> Doing stuff is maybe the most overrated thing the in the world. Worst. Plans and stuff, the worst. Like, I, I just had two friends move back to Boston from New York, and they call me, like, twice a week. Like, oh, let's go grab a couple drinks. Let's go to dinner. I don't need that in my life. Nah, I'm, bro. I'm good on the couch. I don't – I God put me on this earth to sit on the couch, not to go get drinks with you at the bar. I don't want to hang out at all. 100%. Um, next, uh, Tyrese was out on a date – Asked to use his date cell phone to Google something, uh, and and when he popped up her Safari, the open web page was his net worth, <laughs> which is twenty five million dollars, way higher than I thought it was going to be. But Kev, what do you got? And and then he 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 freaked out about her, right? He like oh was he put her on blast. That's, I would fucking love that. Yeah. If, if I caught some chick doing that to me, I'd be fucking pumped. I'd be like, yeah, babe, 25 mil. So let's like, let's go. Whatever you were planning, take it up a notch because everyone on the planet Earth thinks that Tyrese is worth less than he is. You forget about all his movies and he had those hit songs back then. So whatever this chick was planning to do to him, she just, she just bumped it up like five or six notches. There's nothing to be mad about, Tyrese. You're rich. Now she knows it. Enjoy it. Yeah. Not to mention... The chick that's not Googling how much he's worth, that's the snake in the grass. Like, that's the chick that will pull the goalie on you, that, that is, like, specifically not Googling you so that you can't find out that she's interested in that. So at least, like, this chick is just normal. Like you said, Kevin, Paul Walker died. Who knows what Fast and Furious is going to do? You know, Tyrese was talking about his Facebook page last year. Like, he's a fucking old, like, he's all of our moms. Like, what the fuck? You, who knows how much money Tyrese has? And that picture of Dave on the Celebrity Net Worth. No. Oh. You know he fucking Googles himself all the time to check how much he's worth on the Celebrity Net Worth. You know it. 
The I think the the chick, I kind of feel bad for her because I don't know about you guys, but I've been in that. It's so hard to remember to close Safari pages on your phone. Oh, yeah. Like my one of my old apartments, this was hell. I didn't get Wi-Fi in my room. So like like for some reason, the Wi-Fi just didn't reach my room. So I, when I'd beat it and I, I'd use my phone. And then like the next morning, I'd be taking the tea to the office and I'd like, open Safari in the middle of the tea. It was like, fuck, Pornhub's still open. I always, always forgot to close that. It's so easy just to hit the homepage and think it's gone. That's, that's an easy trap to get caught in. Um, next up, these two kids who drunk driving, crashed their car, dumped, I forget the exact number. Uh, five gallons. Five gallons? Yeah. Oh, okay, five gallons of water to create black ice to blame the DUI accident on that. Damn. So I'm a little confused how this didn't work. Was it just because there was a big puddle and it didn't freeze in time? <laughs> I don't know because it seems like ironclad to me otherwise. That's an unbelievable plan. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a perfect plan. Also, also, it's actually not a perfect plan because can't you not see black ice? So could you say everything has black ice? Yeah, but you, like, well, the cop would obviously go over to the ice and like touch it and make sure there was ice. And if it's there, that, those guys should have gotten off. Well, I guess I guess it's not perfect if you're still drunk. That's probably an issue. True. <laughs> they probably wasn't executed. They might have flaws. forgotten to sober up before yeah. doing it. The I had a friend do this. He crashed his car into a snowbank, drunk, and then was shoveling himself out. And cops pulled over and they were like, "Oh, you're shit faced." But then he got off because his lawyer was just like. How do you know he was driving when he was drunk? How do you know he wasn't just pissed and was like, ah, fuck it, I'm going to get drunk and I'll come shovel myself out? So I feel like there might, if these guys really press and take it to court, they're going to get off. They might have gone to jail that night, but this seems like a pretty solid plan. Yeah. Yeah. Next up, the Green Lantern guy who oh. was you know, Puerto, Puerto Rican, right? I think so, yeah. Plus, there's two San Juans. Are there two San Juans? Asking the wrong guy, man. Whatever. Oh, yeah, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, whatever. Know. All right, it's Puerto Rico. Who cares? Yeah. Uh, wanted to, wanted to be buried, or at least at his at his wake, wanted to be dressed as, as the Green Lantern, and uh, and he did it. So Dude, so Dan, <laughs> laugh out loud, funny pictures. The fact that they had him like propped up in the corner is hysterical. The fact that he is some supposed to be some superhero that can fly and he's just a fucking dead guy. I was I was crying when I saw it. My only question is, if this guy is like obsessed with the Green Lantern and he was 50 or 55 or whatever, he probably was maybe retarded. I don't know. So my question to you guys is, do you like can you make fun of people with learning disabilities once they're dead? Because then all dead people are the same. Like, they're not, they don't have a learning disability anymore. They're a dead person. Also, yes, I agree with that. Once you're dead, it's all, it's, you know, dead. all bets are off. You can yeah. also make fun of special needs kids, special needs people, if they're awesome at it. He's yeah. awesome at being a retard if he wants to be the Green Lantern. So I'm, I'm calling you a retard, but I mean that, like, like, in the sincerest, most sincerest form. You are an awesome retard if you want to be Green Lantern at your funeral. Is this person retarded or are we just making this up? I don't this know. This is a big I cat. Just, choose your own adventure. It, was, it, it was. It's a leap, but not really a leap. I mean, a, a grown man being so obsessed with the Green Lantern that he has to get buried in it. This I, is like this. The, the Latin Americans do this, though. I remember yeah, there were. Yeah. I remember a couple of them where, like, they get buried. Like, this is kind of their thing. They get. They don't just go. You don't have a wake. It's like a like a Madame Tussauds wax museum. They're all they always stand. I saw one guy get buried full on his bike. Like, just on a Harley. They buried yeah. the Harley, too. So, all right. So then my final question is, what do you guys think about my new idea for when I die, whenever that is, could be tomorrow, whatever. Uh, open casket with a Sharpie, and you write me a note on my body. <laughs> like like you passed out too early at the party like, sort of like thing? Like a big cast. I like it's like, a great test to see who has a sense of humor. Like, who is actually my friend and who wasn't. Because if you if you were my friend, you'd fucking draw a dick on my dead body. Because you know I don't give a fuck. Because I'm just going to be a rotting corpse in the ground. Yeah. I love it. I mean, that's... Okay. What, we, what you need to do, though, we need to have, like, a private viewing 
and then the funeral you're on display with everything. You're not gonna write it at the funeral. We'll have a, like a week where you can draw on Big Cat's dead body, <laughs> sit shiva with him, and then we'll put him up for a real funeral where you can see the results. Perfect. Yeah, I, I agree. Anonymous too. I want people to be honest. Uh, uh, last one is uh, Krispy Kreme is having a KKK Wednesday uh, or had a KKK. No, it's tomorrow, right? Tomorrow is KKK Wednesday. Tomorrow's yeah. KKK Wednesday. We really don't have much behind this except for the flyers that say tomorrow is KKK Wednesday. So, Cap, what do you got? Yeah, I mean, it's Krispy Kreme something. I don't know what the last K is. It just goes to show, like, the KKK is old hat. They're not, not even a big deal anymore if Krispy Kreme is making KKK flyers. I'm pretty sure the, the, the Ku Klux Klan, like, denounced the Westboro Baptist Church. I don't even think the KKK is bad anymore. It's like, and if anything... It's good marketing. It's good targeting by, by Krispy Kreme. Just get, like, the fat hicks down south. It's like a double whammy. Get all the fatsos who eat donuts and all the KKK in there. But either way, Ku Klux Klan, it's 2015. I don't even think we have it's like just joining a club. Huh? Dan? Uh, I, I actually have a theory that PR firms and, like, marketing companies – they basically fuck up on purpose now. Or at least this is what I would do if I worked for a PR firm. I'd just be like, let's fuck up because that will get us far more uh, of a buzz and people talking about us than doing like an actually good ad. And an actually good ad is tough. So like just drop an end bomb in your fucking flyer and then everyone's talking about you. And I saw the blog. I saw the fucking donuts. And now I want a Krispy Kreme donut. Like. It's the, it worked. It worked. So if I was working in a PR company, I would just fuck up left and right, say racist shit all day, and just be like, whoops, now you're going to buy all my stuff. We'd I mean, all be February. great. We'd, we'd be fantastic marketers. If, if, if Barstool just let – if you just let Barstool run your marketing campaign, we'll say offensive shit, and you'll sell more than ever. Right. I don't, I don't, I, I think, I don't know if this is marketing. I think it's, I think it's just fair. It's, it's February. It's Black History Month. We get a day. I'm not one of those people who are like, oh, like, what about White History Month? Yeah, I don't need that. Give me White History Day and give me a couple donuts, and that's, that's fine. You can have – listen, black people had a hard time. They deserve probably more days than white people do at this point. But give me one. <laughs> that's it. I guess well, I got that's how we're going to end it. We should, we should probably <laughs> add a new topic and just, just wash that one off. Go out on the bottom. <laughs> Right there, yeah. I went four nights away. To yeah, it was a good play. rundown. We that's found that you can, make, yeah, you can make fun of uh, mentally retarded people if they die, and the KKK should have their own day because the blacks get a whole month. <laughs> it's, such a, it's so much more fun when Fortnoy is not around. It's so much better. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I haven't seen him in a month. That's ridiculous. You must be riding um, high, dude. No, I'm riding so low. Like, oh, I'm gonna well, say in a second, we're gonna laugh and we're gonna have our our. Well, like, I'm. I mean, I'm. I'm clinically depressed. I. I truly am. Like, it's fun. It's funny, but when I'm dead in a week, don't say you didn't see the signs. The, here, yeah, I'm no. telling you, the signs are here. I'm fucking this close. Like, if one Wait person's mean to me on the internet today, I might end it. Hold up. About a week ago, you were telling me how Lewis was like, oh, I'm going crazy because I haven't been outdoors," and you were like. Shut up, pussy. Just watch some Netflix. And now, yo, that was a week it. ago, and I still haven't been outside. <laughs> that was a week ago, and I, I still, I haven't had sunlight. Like, don't you, don't, what is it? Like, seasonal aware dis disorder, like a seasonal affective disorder. I mean, I haven't had sunlight touch my body in a month. It's bad. Vitamin I agree. C no, I agree. Ke Keith said to me the other day, he was like, uh, I, I need this week to be over. I was like, bro, I need like the next six weeks to be over. I, I, I have nothing to look forward to right now. It just needs to be March. I'll back, tell you what. That's all. After my uh, after I said I'd give up August last week on KFC Radio. After just going through this winter, I, I think by the time spring and summer hits, I'm gonna you have to cherish every fucking second of warm weather because this is gonna that's be. What I'm telling you. It's just by the way, this is just a point towards why the fuck don't we have the Olympics every February? What the yeah. hell is holding us? Don't, you don't have to do it in a different like. Don't have, you don't have to do the whole you know eighty billion dollars facilities and shit. Just pick a city that's already had it. Do it there, and it won't become as big of a deal because it'll be every year. But that's 
so much better than having to deal with February and having like nothing to watch, basically. That's nothing my that's do. my stump. Yeah. I like that idea. I tried to quit gambling. It lasted maybe twelve hours. Like I didn't gamble on the afternoon soccer games. I waited until the basketball games. <laughs> like, that's, you can't just that's, quit no gambling, new. Dan. It's like you can't just quit alcohol. You need, you need I know, but I said it. I was I it was it was last week. I was like, I'm gonna stop gambling. And I swear to God, it's like the Monday. The, there's Monday soccer games. God knows where. Fucking Japan. I'm betting on soccer games. Didn't bet on those. <laughs> I was like, I beat it. I beat the gambling. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. But whatever. <laughs> All right. Uh, See ya.